Hi kids, welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Today the book is a mix of a story and some science. Sid, the science kid. I'm not afraid of the dark. Sid is scared of the dark, but with some simple science experiments, Sid shows that there's nothing to be afraid of when the lights are out. Sid, said Mom, time to wake up. Sid rubbed his eyes. He looked out the window. It's still dark, said Sid. I'm scared of the dark. Sid turned on a light. That's better, said Sid. Now I can see. I want to know, said Sid, what happens in the dark? Good morning, Sid, said Dad. Are you sure it's morning, said Sid. Yes, said Dad. It's just very early. Sid, said Mom, why are you afraid of the dark? I can't see what happens in the dark, said Sid. Do you think things change when you can't see them, said Mom. Hmm, said Sid. I don't know. Maybe I can find out at school. At school, Sid asked his friends, Are any of you afraid of the dark? I am, said Gabriella. One time I was sleeping in a tent. There was something scary outside. What was it? said Sid. It was a tree, said Gabriella. It just looked scary in the dark. Once, said Gerald, I woke up in the middle of the night. The hallway was dark and scary. Did something get you? asked Sid. Nope, said Gerald. I turned on the light. It was just my hallway. Hmm, interesting, said Sid. Rug time, said teacher Susie. Gerald closed his eyes and pretended to bump into things. He sat down and opened his eyes. It's not dark anymore, he said. Have you all been talking about the dark? Teacher Susie said. Yes, said Gerald. I get scared when it's dark. The dark can seem scary, said Teacher Susie. But when you think like a scientist, it's not so scary. Let's try something, said Teacher Susie. Look around the room. Touch the things you see. Gabriella saw blocks. She touched them. Sid saw the bookshelf. He touched it. Now, said teacher Susie, close your eyes, pretend it's dark, touch the same thing you saw when it wasn't dark. Gabriella touched the blocks. I feel the blocks, said Gabriella. Sid touched the bookshelf. I feel the books, said Sid. Okay, said teacher Susie, open your eyes. Hey, said Sid, everything is the same when it's dark. Let's go explore darkness in the super fab lab, said teacher Susie. We are going to make our own cave of darkness. I see, said Gabriella. We're going to use blankets. That's right, said teacher Susie. The blankets will block out all the light. The cave might be scary, said Gerald. I will go in, said May. Now, said teacher Susie. I want everyone to draw what it looks like in the cave. What do you see? said Sid. I can't see anything, said May. It's really dark. It's fun, cool, said Sid. After school, Sid had big news. I'm not scared of the dark anymore, said Sid. How come? said Dad. Today I learned that darkness just means there's no light, said Sid. Things stay the same in the dark, so there's no reason to be scared. Laughternoon. Now, kids, a good time for some night jokes. Why didn't the chicken cross the road in the dark? Because she was too chicken. What kind of fish only comes out at night? A starfish. And what did Sir Lancelot wear to bed? A nightgown. Thank you for listening. And learning. And remember, children, there's no need to be scared of the dark. Thank you, boys and girls, for being here. Don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you soon.